Welcome back to Historic Investments. Today I'm just delighted to be at the Ohio Gun Collectors Association in the November 2021 meeting, and I'm even more delighted to introduce Joe Pittenger, ex-president of OGCA, ex-president of the Colt Collectors Association, who's brought us an extraordinarily interesting Colt single action. And I'll turn it over to Joe. Thank you, Lynn. The, uh, it's a U.S. Cavalry, inspected by Henry Nettleton. It was, uh, I purchased this gun years ago from the family that actually owned it with the pictures and the documentation that had been in their family since the uh, inception of the gun, uh, carried by one of their, their great-great-grandfather. Uh, it's a uh, Nettleton inspected. It's phenomenal condition with an original holster. Uh, Henry Nettleton was one of the uh, more desirable inspectors at the time. One of the reasons was because he, when he inspected a gun, he actually put his initials on almost every part, including the barrel, the frame, the hammer, cylinder, and everywhere else. Uh, most inspectors did not do that. Uh, Yenny Yost was the gentleman's name. Uh, we've got family pictures. We've got one picture here of him and his family when him and his brother, he's the tall one there in the uniform. That was his gun, that's Yenny. Uh, we also have a picture of him later years with uh, him, his wife, and his daughter. He was originally from Missouri, and after he got out of the service, he moved to Orville, Ohio. He, uh, this is the home in Orville, Ohio in his later years. And there's a, a picture of him as a young man, and then, of course, here's his memoriam card from his uh, funeral. Hey, so. Listen, why don't we just uh, show some more details of all of this and the viewers will be able to appreciate it. More. Okay. This is the uh, Henry Nettleton inspected U.S. Cavalry. That's uh, all documented with the family. We're gonna go over with some of the important aspects of it. Uh, the U.S. property symbol marked on the frame, which is typical. Uh, the early guns had the serial number, last four digits typically on the cylinder itself. Uh, the inspection marks with Henry Nettleton, he was one of the inspectors that marked multiple locations on a gun, including the frame, uh, the hammer. He also marked underneath the barrel, which was unusual, and then also on the top of the back strap with the HN Henry Nettleton spark mark. So his his markings were is uh, more desirable. Just one of the reasons is because he marked that everywhere. The uh, gun has also got the correct cartouches on the grips on both sides, on the inspector's mark, and the uh, um, uh, factory markings that come that way from the, for the cavalry guns. Uh, is that they were all black powder frames, of course. Uh, this gun is in good condition compared to a lot of the guns that, that uh, were produced back in the day like that. Most of them are pretty ratty or have been changed. Things have been altered, which is typical with the first generations. Uh, but this one is, is nicely, nicely done and well kept. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, and those who dig. You dig. Hey, thanks once again for tuning in to us here at, uh, at the Ohio Gun Collectors Association. Joe, thank you very much for, uh, thank you for having me. participating. It's been a pleasure.